I don't really know what the plans are for today. Um, I would like to take the Jeep to a shop, get it looked at, get it fixed. ASAP. The main reason that I start moved into the RV and stopped living in the Jeep was mostly because of Kai, but because I sent him home to be taken care of by my parents. I no longer really have a need for the RV other than to just sleep. Honestly, if I was living inside of my Jeep again, I wouldn't even um, have to worry about situations that bother me. For example, I could drive to Odessa, do DoorDash there, go to the gym, different things like that. I really could just go back to the life I was living. Actually, not living in the Jeep recently has really helped me realize why I enjoyed living in the Jeep so much in the first place. I really liked that ability to kind of just go anywhere and stuff. Although I wouldn't really leave the vicinity because I need to be here for in case something happens or whatever, I still could at least be a little bit more portable. Besides, I spend most of my day driving around doing random stuff anyway, and having the having the Jeep be my home means I never have to worry about going back anywhere to get stuff that I forgot about. Everything's in the Jeep. It's like the best system ever. So I might take it to a shop, you know, crunch some numbers. But the biggest issue is DoorDash has not been busy at all whatsoever recently. And so I haven't really been making too much money this week. I'm hoping tonight will be booming because it's the weekend, but I've mostly I've also been trying to really get back on my sleeping schedule. One thing at a time. Before I do all this stuff, um, I'm gonna go get lunch with Haley. I guess she's a depresso espresso. And uh, I'm just hungry. <laughs> Okay, then I'm blocking off Meme's car. Yeah. Okay, good. Oh, yes. Fantastic. It's still telling me where how to get here. <laughs> okay, where are we going to eat? I don't know. I told you to decide. I hate deciding. I do too. You're the one who said we should go eat. I'm just the one who's hungry. You want to eat too, though. You want sushi, right? I hate sushi. It's not that bad. You, do you not like fish? I like fish, but not. Fish. You like fried fish. They, they cook, there's cooked f sushi, you know. Sushi isn't just raw fish. There's, they have actually cooked fish, like cooked salmon, cooked, some of it's not even fish. Some of it's like just vegetables. It's gross because you don't get any fish. Like... She's low on oil. I haven't turned her on in a while. I missed you. Ah, oh, feels so good. A shifter that actually in a clutch. <sighs> Is she dead? Okay, she might be dead. out of 10 would recommend lifesaver right here I better go get her some get her some oil before she falls apart brakes yep don't work just like before oh, just driving her feels so good it's so loud but I love it I forgot just how much I love driving my Jeep. That felt so good. <laughs> oh man. I also forgot how hard it is to record while driving a Jeep because like standard, this thing, hitting all this stuff, I don't know. And then again, I wasn't really trying. But, I mean, I need to clean my knife. Cha 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 cha. Anyway, so, Took it to the place. It's first come, first serve, and I called ahead, but they were told me that I might have to wait. They're kind of booked right now, so they said first thing Monday, if I come in, I should be good. And if I get my sleep schedule back, we should be good. I actually called a place local here to see, you know, how much it would cost to get the windshield fixed. Um, and it was exactly what I, honestly, it was cheaper than I expected, but it's still more than I'm willing to pay. I refuse to pay more than $200 for a windshield installation plus the windshield. $300 here, not happening. So I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna try to drive to Lovick one day. Maybe I'll just do DoorDash up there and everything, but I wanna move back into the Jeep. 
I really appreciated having the RV and stuff, but 99% of the reason I moved into the RV was because of Kai. And it didn't really work out. He basically destroyed the door on it. I couldn't leave him inside. I ended up just fencing him up outside, which I could have just done without even having the Jeep. Um, so it was kind of a waste overall. I could have stayed in the Jeep, but I mean, I guess it works out. The only thing now is I have to fix that door before I move out or I at least have to fix it sometime around the time I move out. But I honestly am more comfortable in the Jeep because I end up just going places to do things anyway. If I want coffee, I go to a place to get coffee. If I want to sit down and edit, I end up going somewhere to edit. It's just not my environment in there. And I could do everything that I do right now while living in my Jeep. Not living in the Jeep has actually just made me appreciate more all the reasons while living in the Jeep. If you didn't see the live stream I did once recently, when I was in Arizona, I did a live stream with Jeep Nomad and Sean's Jeep Life. One of the questions I think we all really loved indulging into is why we decided to live in Jeeps in the first place. Like, what is it about living in Jeeps that's so great? And not living in my Jeep has just emphasized more all the things I love about living in the Jeep. So much to it. Miss it. Want to get back in here. I love this so much. So, yeah. Going to probably move back into the Jeep soon. But And, and then the channel it will slowly rise from the ashes. My channel will return. But until then... I got stuff to do. I might just go back to the coffee shop because I really don't have anything better to do except for work and stuff. So I might as well just go. I also need to buy oil for the Jeep. Got something to drink for me and I got something to drink for me for my Jeep. So we all good. Only problem is I don't remember where I parked. So so you guys know the um the knife that my parents gave me like not that long ago well that knife mysteriously disappeared i have no idea where it went um i didn't misplace it i actually think it fell out of my pocket because my dad ended up giving me a cheap knife when he came to get kai and just in the span of time he was here it fell out of my pocket like three times without me noticing so i think that the other knife fell out of my pocket the only sucky thing is that's like a 40 dollars knife um, so I'm gonna come in here though, this place called Scarms, Scar Arms, I don't know, it didn't exist when I lived here, but I guess it's a new gun store, so I'm gonna see if they have any interesting knives, cause I've like, I've checked literally everywhere else and, uh, couldn't find, I don't know if I'm gonna buy a knife, but I'm at least gonna look for the future, cause I like buying knives in stores, I'm not a huge fan of ordering them online, unless I've already had it before and I already know what it's like. Cool knife shop, cool people. Well, it's a gun store, or whatever. I might invest in a bench made. My biggest hold up is do I want to get another pocket knife or should I get more of like I've been looking at these knives, um, SA knives. I heard some really good things about them. Now that I don't have Kai, I can actually do some of the stuff that I wanted to do before. It was really hard for me to do pretty much anything alone with Kai with me because. I had to take care of him. I wasn't able to just go on random adventures. Now when he's not here, I can probably just pull over random on BLM land and just go do random stuff that I wasn't able to do before because I had to drag a dog along. You gotta, you guys gotta check this out. I have no idea what's going on and it's not even half as bad as it will be in an hour, but every single night the crows do this. I have no idea what's going on, but they just go crazy. And like, it's not even half, not even that bad yet. Like in a few minutes, probably these trees are just going to be flooded with crows. Look, one already started. You're going to just take over these trees. It's going to be insane. Also, look at the sky. 